everyone, I have another product review for y'all. I think this is particularly timely since if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, hemisphere, it is summer where you are, your version of it, no matter how cool you think it is. Uh, here in San Antonio, every day is in the mid 90s to over 100, so, and sunny most days, so we definitely need these products. Um, Banana Boat slash Hawaiian Tropic, uh, contact me probably a month or so ago, at least, and asked if I was interested in trying out some of their products, since I am a big fan of their products already, and I said, of course. And they sent me a few products, and then one of these I actually bought myself, um, and I've repurchased one of these already. So I can't wait to share with you my uh, little stash here of sun block, sunscreen, I don't know what you call this, sunscreen. There are new rules about what you are allowed to call it now, and I think it block is out, it's sunscreen, and that nothing can be rated over 50 SPF. So, okay. And if I'm looking down, it's because they sent me this lovely information sheet because it's more helpful to you as consumers if I give you more than I like it, it's cool. So, I'll start with the one that I have repurchased myself. This is the Clear Ultramist Banana Boat Sport Performance Cool Zone um, 50 Plus. And it's a uh, UVA, UVB protectant. It smells good. I really can't smell anything out of it, but um, I like it. It's handy. You can lock the cap so when you throw it in your purse, you don't accidentally set it off. Uh, I use this a lot um, in my purse. I take it out wherever I am, like baseball games, kind of that last minute quick let's touch up sort of thing. Um, it does come in an SPF 30 as well, which I don't have. And it's not waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. And what I especially like about it is that it feels cool when you spray it on. And um, when you are in the extreme heat that I'm in, sweating away, watching your child play baseball this come, or golf, this comes in handy. Um, it's also invisible. You don't have to rub it in. And um, even when I'm using some of the other sunscreens, I like this because I can't reach my back. I don't have flip top body parts, so this gets my back for me. So I like it. And it retails, they say it retails for $8.99. I don't think it retails for that much at Walmart, which is usually where I pick it up. Then they also sent me this, um, it's geared for the kids, but I like it for me too. It's the Natural Reflect. This one's for kids, and this one is the same level of protection, but it's not for kids. And I don't know really what's the difference. They're both SPF 50 plus. They both have, ah, I see the difference. The one for grown-ups has 2.8 titanium dioxide and 4% zinc oxide, and um, this one has a little more titanium dioxide, 3.6%. Okay, so um, these are cool because they're oxybenzone free and they are paraben free, and um, they are water resistant and they are recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation and I usually um, drag one of these with me. What I don't like to leave sunscreens in the car because I think the constant exposure to that heat isn't good but I will throw this in the car when we're going on a road trip or something so that I can slap some of this on my children. I have put this on our faces and so far I've had no breakouts so um, that's good. So this is the natural kind if you're uh, a little afraid of chemicals. This is a physical um, sunscreen, I believe, is what they call it. I don't know what they call it. That's what I would call it. It says that it provides uh, protection against sunburn, obviously. No harsh chemicals. It's formulated with 100% naturally sourced sunscreen actives. So this does require you to rub it in, and it's white. Lovely. But it does rub in. It absorbs pretty readily. And has a very pleasing non-scent. Love that. Here's my favorite. I think I may have even mentioned this in a favorites video. If not, I meant to. And I've been using these up like crazy. They're the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration. And um, they have these moisturizing ribbons. You see the doodads there? These come in three levels, which I have, all three. Aww. There's SPF 12, 30, and 50. And I like these. These are probably my, these are my favorite because it feels like a moisturizer. So a lot of times I'll put this on my legs when I get out of the shower if I know I'm going to be 
sitting outside for any period of time. I've been using the 12 on my legs because I'm pasty white and I would like some color and it's working maybe a little too well because there's still no color down there. That sounded wrong. Get your minds out of the gutter, you know what I mean. So this works very, very well, but um, I usually put 30 on my arms and shoulders and, and chest area. I don't put this on my face. I have other sunscreens for my face, but it feels like you're putting on a moisturizer and it doesn't feel like you're all sticky and, and stuff. You know how that feeling is when you put on sunscreen. So I, it has a, you know, it, you don't know why I'm saying that. Just a fresh scent. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. And it absorbs really quickly, and it just feels like it feels like you're putting on moisturizer and not like gooey, yucky sunscreen. So I do like this. Now let's see what they say about it. Um, UVA, UVB protection, non-greasy, and it also has oh, it has antioxidants. Does it now? Well, that's nice. It does have some chemicals that some of you may be um, adverse to, like oxybenzone, other benzones that I can't pronounce, and so forth. But I really like this concept. And you know, you gotta just pick your poison. Skin cancer or not, you know. So, please don't take this as an opportunity to lecture me on the dangers of parabens and benzones and all that. I'm, I'm aware of that. I'm also aware that skin cancer is pretty nasty too, so it's one of those things. And then the last thing um, that, that they didn't send me, but I bought, I guess Hawaiian Tropic and Banana Boat are sister companies or somehow related to each other. The Hawaiian Tropic Shimmer Effect After Sun Moisturizer with uh, Mica Minerals. It has a really, I love this fragrance. It's coconut papaya. Looks like that. And um, I have some strange addiction to moisturizers with shimmer sparkle in them. I have quite a collection going. Some are bronzer shimmer. Some are just moisturizer shimmers. Um, I like this one. It uh, it doesn't have any aloe in it though, which would be kind of nice. They do make one that, that has that. I didn't get that one. But I'll put a little bit of this on too. I would not recommend wearing this in the height of the day. I've used up a lot of this as you can see. Can't get it out. There we go. Because you will sparkle a little more than is uh, normal for any one person to sparkle. But it has, even in here, like a nice sheen. I'm just going to get my upper arms and shoulders. I will say that if you are trying to look more toned than you really are, these sorts of uh, shimmery moisturizers, body lotions, are very helpful to fake a toned appearance. I'm all about that. So, that is my little collection of sunscreens that I have been using. If I had to rank them in any particular order, it would be hard. I would say for adults, I really like this a lot. I mean, I've been using them a lot. And then, just for convenience sake, I do like the spray-on because most of the time I'm not with another adult and I really don't think my children are going to get all my skin on my back covered, so I'd rather just rely on this. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then this, I just, I'm not a big fan of the heavy sunblock, so if I can get a 50 SPF and something like this, that's what I'd go for. But for my kids, this is great. So that's that. If you uh, have any questions or any experience with any of the Banana Boat or Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen products, please let me know. As you know, my all-time favorite sunless tanner is the Banana Boat Endless Summer Color in Deep Dark Tan. I do know they came out in a spray version of that. I haven't tried it yet. So if any of you have tried that, I'm kind of curious to know how that works. If it comes out streaky or is it easy to use? Um, because I'm always a little leery of the spray-on versions. But that's it. So stop watching this video and get out in the sun. Uh, make sure you put your sunscreen on first, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.